Hi, this is Dave from JavaCodeJunkie.com and welcome to the first in a new series of tutorials on Java Swing. In this video, we're going to write our first Java Swing GUI program. So let's get right to it. Let's go to Eclipse and create a new Java project. I'm going to call this first project Swing01 for my first Swing project. Click Finish. Don't create a module. And then I'm going to create a new package, com.javacodejunkie. Click Finish. And I'm going to create two classes. The first is going to be a class that I always use to start a program, and it's called Launcher. I'll create a main method in that. Click Finish. And then the second class I'm going to call Main Window. No main method and click Finish. So let's go back to our Launcher class. And in the Launcher class, we're going to use a method from the Swing Utilities class called Invoke Later. The invoke later method requires as a parameter a an instance of runnable. And the swing utilities.invoke later method will ensure that all of our swing related code is run on the same thread, and that thread is called the event dispatch thread. And it's done that way because swing is not thread safe. So all swing code has to run in the same thread. So we'll do this once and we never have to think about it ever again. So I'm going to create a new anonymous inner class. And then we will override the run method, which is the only method specified in the runnable interface. And in that method, what we're going to do is create a new instance of our main window class. And then I'll do a main.show. Now this has not yet been written, so we're going to get an error at this point, but let's not worry about that. We're going to take care of that right away. We'll move now to the main window class. And in the main window class, I'm going to create an instance variable of type JFrame. And JFrame is the top level container or window in Java Swing. Organize the imports, create a constructor, and we'll also create a method called show. So now if we go back to our launcher, we no longer have an error. So in our constructor, I'm going to create an instance of our JFrame. I'm going to use a method of the JFrame class to set the title on the window. I'm going to set an option that defines what's going to happen when we click the X in the top right hand corner of the window to close the window, the default is to do nothing. And what it actually does is it just hides the window. So what we want to happen when we click it is to close or dispose of the window. So set default close operation J frame dot dispose on close. We're going to set the size of our window. We'll make it 800 by 500 pixels. 
And to center the window on the screen, we'll call another method. Set location relative to, and setting it relative to null actually centers it on the screen. And in the show method, we'll simply say window dot set visible true. And now if we run, we should see a window with a title that says hello world. In this video tutorial, we created our first Java Swing program. If you enjoyed the tutorial, please click the thumbs up to like the video. Also, please consider subscribing to the channel to view more Java Swing videos. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and until next time, stay safe and keep on coding.